Ladies and gentlemen, please have your passports and boarding passes ready for inspection. Your itinerary is being recalculated. All right, this is Test Drive Unlimited for the PC. Uh, this game came out in September 2006 for the Xbox 360 and then was ported to the uh, PlayStation 2 and the PC March 2007. Surprisingly enough, this game did not come out on the PS3, but uh, anyways, I picked this game up just today, got it used for $4.99, and uh, so far it's looking to be pretty awesome. As you can see, you start off the game picking a character, and he basically comes to a Hawaiian island, and uh, you know, you start off, you have to rent a car to get around, and as you can see here, the first thing we're going to do is buy a house. The main point of buying a house is for the garage. So as you can see it shows you the garage capacity. It says four vehicles. In this game you know you want to basically collect as many vehicles as you can. So later on in the game you're going to need to buy a bigger house with a bigger garage. But for now we're starting off with this one with four cars we can get in the garage. So now we have a garage, we should go and find a car. So we're buying our first car. Of course, after buying that house, we have about forty to fifty thousand dollars left. So there's only a few cars you can really start off with. Um, I chose to start off looking at Alfa Romeos. I didn't really look around too much at what else was available. Um, so I mean, I'm gonna get this Alfa GT here. Uh, I'm not necessarily gonna say it's the best car to start off with. But, uh, hey, it looks cool, and it's got decent power. Um, so now that we have our first car, there's a few things in the options um, that I want to change because I kind of forgot to change them right away. So I'll show you some of these options here now. Um, first things first is the driving aid. 
Um, you can change the realisticness of the controls of the car with the driving aid. So I'm going to turn them down a little bit actually to make it a little bit more realistic and change the gearbox to a manual. As you can see there is an auto clutch and an eight shifter option. Um, so if you have like the um, you know one of the professional steering wheel kits with the clutch and the non-sequential eight shifter uh, you can use that in this game so that's pretty cool. I mean this game did go for a really good mix of realism and you know just fun driving you can drive around this hawaiian island and apparently the developers um, you know put a lot of detail into the island it's very realistic to the real island um, that this is based off of so that's pretty cool i'll show you some of the camera angles here as you can see we have a really good cockpit view in this game uh, it's a very realistic cockpit view you can actually move the mouse um, to look around the cockpit. So we've got a hood view here, which looks pretty nice. I like the hood view or this view here, which is the nose camera. I've mentioned that in a lot of racing games. I often stick with the nose camera. For some reason, it's just the easiest for me to play uh, racing games. Uh, so anyways, we're going to come back home here. And I'll show you a few things in the house. Like I said, obviously this is where you'd come if you wanted to change cars, but I'm just starting out so I only have the one car in the garage. Um, but if you go to your character, you can actually um, change his clothing and change the way he looks. So you can get you can get different clothing in the game. You can see there biker gear. There, there is bikes in this game, it's not just cars. So you can't buy and race uh, motorcycles as well. Um, but on to the main point of the game, how about some of the racing? Here's a, one of the first races I'll show you, is a one-on-one -on -one race where you can actually pick where the finish point is, so you can kind of actually make your own race, you know, choose the route that you want to take, which is kind of cool. So here we go, like I said, this is just a one-on-one -on -one race against basically an opponent as you're driving around. You'll see other sports cars and stuff racing around. You can, you know, challenge them to a race. This is, of course, a Saturn Sky that we're racing up against. Um, and now that I think about it, I probably should have checked to see if you can buy the Saturn Sky. Turn left. So here's another race, this is a, an event race, so it's actually we got three opponents now, and uh, once again it's just a straight up race, so just beat them to the finish line. There's a good variety of cars in this game, a lot of exotic cars, and it really is a big turnaround for the Test Drive series. I mean, I remember the original Test Drive, like, you know, Test Drive, Test Drive 2, the Duel, those games on the computer PC back in the day, and the Genesis, and they were pretty good. The first three Test Drive games were pretty good. And then they kind of started to go downhill, I remember Test Drive Off-Road was, was an awful game. Test Drive, uh, I remember when the PlayStation 2 came out, I don't know if that was like Test Drive 6 or something that would have been, but the uh, first Test Drive game on the PlayStation 2 was just awful, horrendous game. So this really is a big turnaround for the Test Drive series. Um, I mean, the graphics are phenomenal, the, the whole idea of just having this entire island you can race on with all these exotic cars. I mean, it really is a fun game. So here I am going to buy my second car. And, uh, well, I picked a Chevrolet Corvette Z06. The reason I picked this car is, I mean, can you beat this thing for the value? I mean, compared to all the expensive exotic cars in this game, I think this is the first, you know, high-performance car you're going to be able to buy... 
And as you can see now, I'm a small collector. I have two cars getting started in the game here. Um, so yeah, here's the Corvette Z06. Gonna take it out for a little test drive. <laughs> no pun intended. Test drive unlimited. Let's see what this thing can do on the straights, eh? almost 180 miles an hour until I ran out of straight road there. I thought it was pretty cool even that the uh, the gauges, you know, the tachometer and speedometer, you know, actually match the Corvette Z06. Like they changed that in this view just for what car you're in, which is pretty cool. And uh, I mean, just like in real life, if I got a Corvette Z06 and give me five minutes and I'd either kill myself have the cops after me and that's one thing I haven't shown yet is the cops anytime you hit a car you have an accident uh, the cops will come so now we can see the cops are after me they're gaining on me but I have a feeling I'll be able to outrun them in the Corvette 06 Hey, like I said, this game is just like real life. If I didn't kill myself, I'd be in jail. But hey, definitely a great game. Like I said, check it out. If you can get it used for like under 20 bucks on the Xbox 360 or PC, definitely worth grabbing.